welcome to 23 Degrees Sideways. We're going to talk a little bit about mythology, uh, modern mythology, and kind of like some weird ways in which it grows real quick. We're going to talk about Lord of the Flies in a moment. <clears throat> so there's, there's all these things that come up and people um, take them in and make them part of their personal mythology or their cultural mythology. You know, Lord of the Flies is one of those things. People think that it is somehow an actual illustration of how humans work. Wow. Okay, people get a lot of things wrong about Lord of the Flies, in my opinion, based on their um, perception, their internal negativity, their desire for crap. I don't know. Um, there's other examples of this. For example, Hanlon's Razor. I've talked about that quite a uh, bit in previously. Excuse me. Hanlon's Razor is that, um, that, that thing, never attribute to malice what can be explained by stupidity. So the, the, there's a couple things with this, you know. The first one is that it's another one of those things that people really like that makes you assume that you're better than everyone else. Oh no, they're just stupid. They're just stupid. They're just dumb. Don't don't think they're they're malicious or have actual intent or like consciousness. They're just dumb. They're stupid. Everything that goes wrong is because other people are stupid. Come on, guys. You know, it's better to grant people some humanity than it is to to do that. The thing about Hamlin's Razor, of course, is that it's not based on any research. There's nothing there. People use it in argument as if it's like, it's, a, it's an appeal to authority, as if it's something that you know is true. You know better than to think that that's actually bet wrong. It never attribute to stupid, to malice what can be explained by stupidity. It's a law. It's not a law. It's Hamlin's Razor. It's not backed up by any research. In fact, when it comes to bureaucracy, Exactly the opposite is true. Okay, when it comes to bureaucrats acting maliciously towards people who are inferior to them, petty power, okay, mid-level mid -level civil servants trying to tell you no, you can't add a bathroom, bathroom onto your house, this, this, it's not stupidity, it's malice, okay? And it's explainable. It's perfectly explainable. People who don't have a lot of control, who need to exert control, and we have a power system in our society based on denying other people in order to pump up your own personal power. This is like, this is very, very explainable, and we do actually have data on that. So Hanlon's Razor is just this made up shit. Well, so is the Lord of the Flies thing. Okay, Lord of the Flies is a novel. It's, um, not a particularly good one, you know, it's kind of like, everyone's like, oh, Ernest Hemingway, Ernest Hemingway, and I'm like, yeah, he was a piece of shit author. Honestly, he was, he, do, he, didn't, he didn't evoke anything positive or lasting, I mean, you know, I, I had to read all of Hemingway because I was stationed in Spain for three years, so, you know, you have to do the whole thing, you have to do your Hemingway phase, kind of like you have to read Don Quixote in the original Spanish, which was an adventure much more worthwhile than reading Hemingway again. So, Lord of the Flies. Um, a lot of people use this as some sort of explan explanatory thing about the nature of man. Toxic masculinity. Boys left to themselves without civilizing influences and culture and society and control will just destroy everything because, you know, any anything bad instead of like talking about their feelings or something and you're just like it's like this big huge eye roll it's like uh, lord of the flies is a commentary on the school system or a school system or a way of raising young male children in a specific school system if you it's not about human nature it's about specific cultural indoctrination. If there's any real big point to The Lord of the Flies, that's what it is. It's a condemnation of 
some of the excesses of Western post-agricultural civilization. That's what it is. So, good luck with that. Um, the, the, and, and that's really the point of the video here. The whole thing is that people, people will use the Lord of the Flies as if it's an authoritative example of human psychology. And you just... How do you respond to that? How do you even... I'm like... No! <laughs> it's just not. That's not what humans are like. That's not how humans tick. That's not... You, you have to break people to make that happen. I want you to understand that. You have to break people. Break souls. Break people down. Destroy minds. Destroy mental health to make that sort of situation happen, to be possible. So, maybe, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a big one to argue about the perfect human nature, but humans, we, we are self-organizing social creatures and we do a pretty damn good job of it in relative, relatively small numbers and relative situations. And, you know, a Lord of the Flies situation shouldn't turn into a Lord of the Flies situation unless you have some really damning, um, damaging behaviors in your society, in your culture, in how you are imprisoning and enforcing behaviors and thoughts on young males. So if anything, it's a condemnation of the system, not men. Yeah, it's just one of those things, just like, how? How do you get there? How do you get there? Because it's, it's sitting here in my messages, you know. This guy goes on and on and on. He's, like, spent a good hour defending, you know, the glory and genius of Lord of the Flies. And I'm like, no. No, it's like, yeah, okay, so Hobbes had a bad trip. Good job, dude. But, no. Boys will not burn everything down before they talk honestly about their feelings. That's not... That, that no boys do want adventure they want camaraderie they want belonging but you know I can show you a lot more fiction that shows these groups of teenage adolescent males going off and fighting a revolution or saving the world from a dictator or alien invasion or whatever novels are novels right the bigger archetype the bigger myth is the group of boys banding together for a worthwhile adventure that is what you should be paying attention to, and that is perhaps what you should be placing more importance on. It's just, I'm laughing, because I'm, I'm genuinely amused, <laughs> but we live in a society where people actually struggle and strive and want Lord of the Flies to be the future rather than the Tripods trilogy. How weird is that? Like, what's in your head that you want that? That's that's your that that's how you want people to be. You know. Wow, we've got quite a job ahead of us to get uh, basic well-being spread across humanity, especially the West. Well, especially the East, but especially the West in a different way. So. Uh, Lord of the Flies is not your future. It's not the nature of man. It's not the nature of adolescent males. I've been down this road, and no, it's not. So stay sideways, and uh, remember that a lot of these things that are being put out as mythological cons constructs in our society aren't true. Question everything, especially that assumed authority.